Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we will discuss all about the stages of labor. Childhood progresses in three stages, labor, delivery of the baby and delivery of the placenta. Unless labor is cut short by a c-section, all women go through labor. The first stage of childbirth, labor is in turn broken down into three phases, early labor or latent labor, active labor or transitional labor. Phase 1, early or latent labor. The first of the three stages of labor called the latent phase is usually the lungs. Thankfully, it's also the least intense by far. Over a span of time, from several hours to several weeks, often without noticeably or bothersome contractions or over a period of no doubt about it contractions. Your cervix may dilate to 3 cm and efface. Now we will discuss about the symptoms of early labor. You will experience mild to moderate contractions that last 30 to 45 seconds, though they can be shorter and might be regular or irregular. They may be spaced around 20 minutes apart and become progressively closer together, but not necessarily in a consistent pattern. You may not even notice them until the final 2 to 6 hours. If you are dilating gradually over a period of days or weeks, you probably won't feel them at all until labor starts in earnest. You may feel backache constant or with each contraction. You may feel menstrual like cramps mean as you feel in your menstruation period then you will feel such cramps in this situation lower abdominal pressure it will comes from backward to onward or toward abdomen so you will feel such a pressure indigestion is also the sign of early labor it is due to hormonal balance and slow metabolism diarrhea is also the sign of labor and it is counted in early labor symptoms a sense of warmth in the abdomen or you may feel any heat uh, process in your abdominal area so you may find yourself in the early phase of labor blood tinged mucus discharge also known as bloody show you may face this in this stage rupture of the amniotic membrane your water belly though it's more likely to happen something during active labor but some female face that in early labor what you can do during early labor you may feel excitement, relief, anticipation, uncertainty, anxiety, or even fear. You might be relaxed and chatty to tense and apprehensive. All of these reactions are normal. It is important to try to relax as much as you can during the early phases of labor. You'll need to save your strength for later on. If you are feeling anxious at night time and get some sleep when your contractions become more instant, you won't be able. If you can't get up and try to distract yourself, Cook a few more dishes to add your freezer stash, fold some baby clothes, do the rest of the laundry. During the day, go about your usual routine or try taking a walk, which might even kick up the contractions a notch. Just don't stray too far from home and don't go anywhere without a cell phone. Get nothing planned, find something relaxing, watch TV, email friends, finish packing your hospital bag to keep busy. Alert your birth partner. You will definitely want Want to put your partner or whomever you want to take to the hospital including your doula if you have one on alert the person probably doesn't have to rush to your side just yet since there is too, not much to do this early on eat a little snack if you're hungry eat a little energizing pre-labor meal toast with jam plain pasta or rice banana or anything else your practitioner has recommended just avoid fatty foods burgers potato chips and don't overeat. Keep anything acidic or inducing. Drink some water. It is important to have water in your body. Keep an eye on contraction but don't worry about obsessively timing them at this point as it may just frustrate you instead. Check periodically to see whether they are getting closer than 10 minutes apart. Most women and their nervous, nervous coaches will head to the hospital between the first two phases of labor as the early phase ends and the active phase begins. Be often. Use the bathroom often a Full bladder can get in the way of labor. Use relaxation technique. If they help, but don't start any breathing exercises just yet, or you may be 
come exhausted long before you need really them. Want to call your practitioners? You and your practitioners should have discussed when to call. However, you should definitely contact him or her right away if your discharge become bright red or if you have released more than two tablespoons of blood. Since actual bleeding could indicate a problem with the placenta like placenta previa or another condition that needs to be addressed as soon as possible. Your membranes rupture and the amniotic fluid is greenish. You feel no fatal activity though it may be hard to notice because they are distracted by contractions. In which case have a snack or some juice, walk a bit even jiggle your belly then lie down and feel the contractions and also the count of movement. Phase 2 Active Labor The second stage or active phase of labor usually lasts from 2 to 3 and a half hours for the wide range of what's considered normal. As your cervix dilates to 7 cm, you'll usually be in the hospital or birthing center by this phase or if you are delivering at home, your midwife should be with you by now. How to know you are in active labor? There are some symptoms. Your contractions will grow more concentrated and increasingly more intense. In other words, painful as they become stronger and longer, typically lasting 40 to 60 seconds or the distinct peak halfway through and more frequent coming every 3 to 4 minutes. Though the play pattern may not be regular, you can expect to feel all the falling. You won't pain if you have had an epidural by this point. Increasing pain and discomfort with contractions you may not be able to talk through them now. Increasing backache is also the symptom of active labor. Leg discomfort or heaviness or you may feel pain in your legs in this stage. Fatigue is also the symptom of active labor because the, um, your body is actively taking, taking part in labor activities so you may feel fatigue. Increasing bloody show. This is also the sign of active labor. The rupture of the membrane if you haven't already is also the sign of active labor. Start your breathing exercises. If you are planning on using them, start as soon as contractions become too strong to talk through. Don't plan ahead and practice. Ask the nurse or doula for some simple breathing suggestions. Remember to do whether relaxes you and makes you feel more comfortable. If they are not working for you, don't stick with them. Use relaxation technique. Especially if you are having an unmedicated birth, relaxing between contractions and will be Become increasingly difficult but also increasingly important as your energy reserves are taxed. Stay hydrated. You might be offered light clear beverage or ice chips frequently to replace fluids and keep your mouth moist. Ask for snack. If you are hungry and have your practitioners okay, have a light snack, a popsicle for example. Stay on the move if you can. Walk around a bit. Though you won't be able to if you have had an epidural or change position. Pee periodically. Continue to urinate regularly. 2. You may not notice you need to because of the pelvic pressure, but a full bladder can keep you from making as much progress if you have been given an epidural you will already be hooked up to the catheter. Phase 3 or transitional or advanced labor. During this third stage called transitional labor, the last most intensive phase, your cervix will dilate from 7 to its final 10 cm. Fortunately, it's also the shortest generally lasting from 15 minutes to an hour, though it can sometimes take up to 3 hours. Some symptoms of transitional labor are falling. Suddenly, the intensity of contractions pick up. They may become very strong and 60 to 90 seconds long and with very intense peaks that last for most of the contraction. Some women, particularly those who have given birth before, may experience multiple peaks. Strong pressure in the lower back and or per annum. Rectal pressure with or without an arc to push. An increase in bloody show as capillaries in the cervix rupture. Feeling very warm and sweaty or chilled and shaky. Crampy legs that may tremble uncontrollable, uncontrollably. Nausea and vomiting. Often female do greenish vomit. This is the indication of transitional labor. Drowsiness between the two contractions. Or you may feel faint yourself between the contractions. A tightening sensation in your throat or chest or you may feel some suffocation. Fatigue or exhaustion is also the symptom of transitional labor. What you do during transitional labor? This last for three stages of labor can be a physically demanding and draining time but it can also be exhilarating. You may feel exhausted, impatient, disoriented and overwhelmed or none of the above and feel only excited and elation if you had had pain medicine and have had a smooth labor so far. 
Continue breathing techniques if they are helped, of course, if you feel the urge to push before your cervix is fully dilated, ask your practitioner dollar for some guidance. Panting and or blowing can help stop you from pushing if your practitioner says you are not getting ready. Pushing before dilation is complete could cause your cervix to swell which can delay delivery. Speak up if you don't want anybody to touch you unnecessarily or if your if your couch wants comforting hands now irritate you don't hesitate to speak up breathe try to relax between contractions with slow deep rhythmic breath keep your eye on the prize the bundle of joy will soon in your arms when you are full 10 cm dilated you will be moved to the delivery room if you aren't already there or if you are in birthing bed the foot of the bed will simply to move to prepare for delivery way to go you have made it through the three stages of labor and it's time to push baby out hope you have find this video useful for the process of labor and if you feel the video useful then share it with your friends and family members and also subscribe my channel thank you